Prince Harry and Meghan Markle cozy up to Trump-loving billionaire Rick Caruso. He's 61. Caruso is a Republican. He's 61. He's the owner of The Grove, the famous The Grove. And his father, he comes from money. He's worth about $3 billion. His father created the dollar rent-a-car company. What's going on here? Is Rick Caruso helping Meghan Markle? Is, is Meghan trying to make Harry jealous? Was Harry even there? I don't believe that Harry is with Meghan most of the time. So this is Meghan talking to Rick Caruso. Is Rick Caruso the next targeted acquisition for Meghan? Is he husband number four? And are they lovers? We got to know. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. Okay, what is up with Meghan Markle meeting Rick Caruso, the billionaire? who owns The Grove. And this is him at The Grove. Uh, I used to live in L.A. and I had lunch at The Grove with some people. It's very nice. So, uh, th it seems like a strange match. So what is going on here? Let's just do a mini. I mean, Megan is drawn to billionaires. She's drawn to people who are very... I don't believe Harry was with her. <clears throat> but we can take a look there, too. Now, we will look at that. So, what is going on? Let's just do a, a mini and see what we see. What's going on with Megan and Rick Caruso? Roadblock. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Well, how can it be more negative? Money. Let's get a feel for what's going on. What is going on? Uh, everything is blocked. She's getting cast out. The, the, her whole Hollywood gambit of going to Hollywood and making it as a starlet again in Hollywood, it's, it's ending in disaster. It's not working out. All the doors are being shut in her face and she's being pushed out. People are not that interested in her uh, in terms of Hollywood. It's really... It's going very, very badly for her in Hollywood. No matter how many, you know, she's got Tom Cruise helping her, Angelina Jolie, she's got George Clooney, George Clooney was helping her, and it just dried up. I mean, there's only so much they can do because they can't make someone cast Megan. 18, 23, six clubs. She's, yeah, it's the, ho the whole becoming a starlet thing is really not working out. So I lend a lot of credence to she wants to go to New York. If it's not working in LA, she's going to go to New York. She's going to switch it up. And this is her switching it up. Decision, okay, cutting cutting her losses. So the Hollywood thing's really not working out, cutting her losses. She's working with what she's got. She's trying to work with this guy. You know, how can you advance me, Mr. Rick Caruso, billionaire? What do we have here? We have the big money, decisions, the fox, the clever fox. Clever fox wants something. We have fox and magi. Very Magi is the powerful manifester. Fox is a female version of this. Um, so she has both the male and female. She has direct action and moving the pieces around in the world. So manifesting her world very cleverly she has very specific goals how does she get to the ten diamonds well she had the ten diamonds ten diamonds is the royal family card she had all the money in the world uh, as a royal and she walked away from it very foolishly and she pulled Harry away from it very very foolishly 25 32 42 47 Queen of Spades, Queen of Clubs, Queen of Clubs. Yeah, so she is just working her other options. She is a hustler, and she keeps hustling, and, and she's trying to get this guy to help her. Let's see. Are Meghan, Meghan Markle, and Rick Caruso, are they lovers? I mean, what's going on here? I mean, typically, Meghan, you know, the person who is helping Meghan, she hops in their bed and goes to live with them and then will marry them and even change convert to a new religion she converted to judaism she converted for harry uh, you know 
there, there was talk that she was going to the Scientology church because there's a lot of big hitters in Hollywood at the Scientology church. What does that tell you about Hollywood? For goodness sake, have you ever visited the Scientology church? I, I'm, I'm a curious person. I went, uh, there's one in D.C. I'm from D.C. Man, what a creepy vibe. What a creepy vibe in that place. Very cold, like someone watching you all the time. The spirits followed me out. Okay, there's lovers wanted to pop out. So what's going on with between Megan and Rick Caruso? Megan. And I kind of do want to know if they're lovers. Rick Caruso. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's funny. Two popped out. So as you saw, Rick has a, a family. So this is very interesting on Rick's side. He's got 666. He's got the devil. Completely selfish. Will do anything. Very impersonal. Incubus succubus. He's out for what he can get. And six spades is the I just want sex card. Okay, I'm going to take sex from you. So it adds devil. He's, he's not got necessarily good intention. Karmic relationship, developing a relationship. He'll develop a relationship with whoever. Okay, he's, he's, this is called networking, friends with benefits. Okay, devil, uh, 18, five diamonds. So he is looking at Megan as someone who can connect him to other people. But he's completely selfish about it. And sex is definitely not off the table here. What do we have here with Megan? Friends, home, player. Player is an infidelity card. Snake is a sexy woman. 23, 27, cross. Uh, I think she... Th we have snake and we have incubus succubus and we have devil. I think she's sleeping with him. And we have lovers. Okay, and the lovers was a pop-out. I'm shuffling and cards don't often pop out for me. But... Uh, you know, that popped out. And so that, in this context, this is their lovers now. Okay, ruler and mercury, 13 and 9, 22, six diamonds. Um, powerful man, uh, he's helping her. Okay, so he's getting sex out of it and contacts and she's getting, she's using her sexuality because, you know, I, I know a lot of my female viewers don't think Megan is attractive, but a lot of people do think Megan is attractive. And I don't think Megan, and I'm not necessarily one of those people, I would not date Megan. Okay, but uh, this is how she's made her way in the world. Okay, through her sexuality and her beauty and, uh, you know, cuddling up to the right people. She cuddled up to Piers Morgan, but then she left him... She left him very cold. Uh, this man, she's cuddling up to him. I do see sex here. I think they are sleeping together. Uh, so, gosh, that just makes me wonder, is this a triangulation ploy? Is Megan trying to make Harry jealous? Ploy to make Harry jealous, because this is very common. I've seen this a million times, especially when I was young. You know, uh, girls or boys, They'll just, they have a fight with their girlfriend or boyfriend and they just go, they run off and sleep with the first warm body they can find. Okay. And that's to make them jealous. And then they say things like, well, you made me do it. You know, I mean, I, you're not paying attention to me. And, you know, if he doesn't mean anything to me or she doesn't mean anything to me, you know, like that. That's, I've seen it a million times, I've, like a million times. So is Megan triangulating? Is she trying to make Harry jealous? Well, we got a yes card. Great jealousy card is six spades, queen of spades. That's up here. Uh, is she trying to make Harry jealous? Jacob's Ladder, making her way through life, actions to make her way through life, and committed to doing whatever is necessary to advance herself. Ten, three diamonds. Working everything together. Working her sexuality, working her beauty, working her intelligence. This has, no, on the surface... This has nothing to do with making Harry jealous. This is about getting ahead. This is about 
commitment to moving ahead in life uh, and working with, with someone who will work with her. If he's going to help her, she's all in. Okay, outside events, finger of God, yes, and olive tree. This man entered from outside, and he's a key contact, 15, let's see, 16 and 6, 20, 24, 16 and 6 spades. So he, he, I think he contacted her, or, but they were introduced or something. Uh, he came from outside. She, he was not on her radar, uh, and... Because it's an unlikely pairing. Uh, he was, he's, he's not a movie person. He's not, uh, I don't know that he's really a charity person. He's a real estate developer. The Grove is very famous, very beautiful. I think this is the restaurant right behind him here. This is the restaurant I ate at. And I'm not sure what this, and right over here are some, uh, some of those little food truck things. Now, it's interesting because it's an enclosed square. So how did they get the food truck things in there? It's not like you can drive in. So it's all kind of staged. And there's like, you know, they're setting it up like it's it's an outdoor space, but it's an indoor space. It's a beautiful space, you know, and it's, it's a multi-level parking lot. You come up through an elevator. <clears throat> anyway, was she trying to make Harry jealous? No, she's just trying to get ahead. She's trying to get ahead. She's committed to doing whatever she needs to do to get ahead. Uh, and down here, he's just a key contact that she's working. He's a key contact. So she's not trying to make him jealous. She's just trying to get ahead. Was Harry there? Okay, uh, the headline is Harry and Megan went to meet with, you know, are interfacing with Rick Caruso. Okay, but I don't believe Harry was there. So was Harry present at this meeting? Let's just see. Devil. This adds devil. And there's the devil right in the center. We're getting devil with Harry a lot. Was Harry at the meeting? And again, what does any of this have to do with Harry? What is Harry doing in L.A.? What is he going to do in L.A.? What are his future prospects? Zero. He has no future prospects in L.A. Uh, you know, he's on IMDb as a producer. That's possible. Okay, he's not going to get into acting. He has no experience producing. Uh, he's not going to do voiceovers. He is a fish out of water. He doesn't belong in L.A., and meeting with this man, Rick Caruso. He's, Harry's not a real estate developer. He doesn't know the first thing about it. And it's complicated. Everything is complicated. Okay, making YouTube videos is complicated. There's a whole lot of stuff you need to know. <clears throat> so no matter what it is, there's all kinds of internal knowledge that you've got to, you know, cobble together and figure out. What is, you know, okay. So did Harry meet with Rick Caruso? Devil, it's all a lie. This is a... a a pleasant fiction and a message, a uh, beautiful message. It's, it's lipstick on a pig, 11 and 4, 15, four clubs. This is the right lipstick on this pig today. This is today's lipstick on the pig. Okay, so this is today's lie. All of this stuff about Harry and Meghan and their beautiful family and living in L.A. and Harry's in L.A. and he's, it's all lies. It's all lies. Okay, Harry's not with Meghan. What's underneath? Split up. Broken chalice right in the center. Far away. Uh, actively far. 16. It's over. Four spades. Four clubs. It's over and they're split up. We haven't heard about it yet. This is why we read cards. We haven't heard about their separation and divorce yet. They haven't filed the divorce. We're going to hear about it. That's a public document. But they're separated. It's all a lie. Harry wasn't in that meeting. Okay, and another question that I was going to ask... Is, is Rick here, is Rick Caruso number four? We saw his beautiful children. Okay, I think he has four beautiful kids, like three boys and one girl, uh, and a beautiful wife, of course, because he's a freaking billionaire. Uh, and he's not a bad-looking guy, and he's in pretty decent shape, which doesn't matter. I mean, that money makes him a 10. His wallet makes him a 10. So I was going to ask, 
you know, is this husband number four for Megan? Is that what she's working out? Well, if you just look at this, this is a relationship spread. No way, Jose. Okay. He's not going to fall for it. He's, he's here to get what he wants. She's here to get what she wants. I got to get it. All right, so there's no, I don't see any chance of him being husband number four. And I don't see her having designs on him like that, but she would be open to that because that's how she moves through the world. How did she advance into the royal family? Through marriage. How did she get her role on suits? Through marriage. Through marriage to uh, Trevor Engelson. And when she, when she felt that's as far as she could go with him, she dumped him. She sent the ring back in the mail. That's how she does it. All right, so this is kind of interesting. What's, let's review all this. Meghan Markle and Rick Caruso. Wow, what a disaster. L.A. is a disaster. Her plans are coming to nothing. Just an absolute disaster, and she's ready to get out of this. And she's working her new options, and she's just manifesting, manifesting. She has both the, the male and female manifesting cards, and she's going to make a fortune in this world. And that's what she's doing, and she feels she needs to strike while the iron is hot and keep the momentum going, and that's what she's doing. She hustles day and night. I wonder if the woman sleeps, because that's how hard she's hustling. And that's, it's admirable to be a hard worker. You, you work hard, you generally get ahead, okay? And that's the rule. You work very hard, you get ahead in life, okay? And so she's somebody who has achieved, she went, made it to the royal family because she works so hard. She hustles so hard. The problem is there's a lot of deception in her hustle. Uh, she, she transforms into whoever you want her to be, and that's what people notice. And then she dumps anybody. She just forgets people uh, after she's done with it. She uses people and throws them away. So what's going on with Rick and Megan? Are they lovers? Lovers. They are lovers. He's using her. She's using him. She is, and we have sex cards. We have a sex card right in the middle for him. We have a sex card right in the middle for her. Uh, infidelity. Harry and Meghan are not together, so Meghan feels free to uh, express herself sexually with others. Okay, sexy woman and a player. Playa, you know, what, what is that? Well, she's being unfaithful in her marriage, but she doesn't have any problem with it. He, uh, it, he's happy to take the sex. He's building relationships. He's networking, but with a little bit of nookie on the side. Networking with a little bit of nookie on the side. And he's a devil. He doesn't, he has no feelings for her at all. She's showing as a snake. He's showing as a devil. So they're just networking. She, he's using her and she's using him. I find that very interesting and very cold hearted. Is this to make Megan jealous? Is this to make, is Megan trying to make Harry jealous by relate, you know, interacting with Rick Caruso and sleeping with him, which she's not going to say, nobody's going to say that. Uh, no, this has nothing to do with making Harry jealous. She's just, she's making her way in the world and she's using everything she's got. She's making her way in the world. He's a great guy, great contact. Okay. Was Harry at this meeting? Hell to the no. He's not at this meeting. Absolutely not. Okay, this is the lie du jour. And he's far away and they're split up. So a lot of deception going on currently in the Meghan and Harry relationship. And it's going to have to, you know, the mainstream, people are going to wake up. It's going to come out in the mainstream media and we're going to be seeing it. We're going to see, you know, a separation announcement soon. I don't know how soon. So... That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who uh, buy me a cup of tea. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.